didn't have a cover, so it probably makes sense I won't have a back cover. But right now, I have something that's guaranteed to send you away, Steve Lay. I thought there was somebody back there. <laughs> a couple of things first. Um, the good news is that I'm the last thing. <laughs> Number two, it's going to be short. <laughs> okay. Um, when Bill first brought up the subject of me doing something, um, he mentioned I could read the article that I'd written for him earlier. And he also said something about, well, you could do this other thing. And he, he said what it was, and I thought about it. And I was going to read the article, and then I changed my mind an hour or so ago. No, uh-uh. So here it is. I had to think of a way to come in to introduce this and uh, kind of work it together, but uh, I tried. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm an agnostic um, bordering on atheism. <laughs> Jeez, <sir. laughs> Looking out at all of you, um, it kind of struck me that if there is a God or some kind of supreme being that uh, controls all of this, uh, he, she, it, or them must have a really twisted sense of humor. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, I wonder if this God's version of hell might not be to give us all exactly what we wanted in the afterlife. Um, for instance, there's me, who really doesn't believe in an afterlife. I can see me afterward. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I'm an eternity of that. I might occasionally hear God giggle, but... <laughs> and then there's the, the millions of Hindus who found out that there's a shortage of cows and are now being milked by some ignorant farmer in Pennsylvania. Um, or worse, they've been slapped between two buns and are being served as a McDLT. Then there's, a, of course, the fundamentalist Christians, <laughs> easy targets. Um, I wonder if Oral Roberts might not be told to collect $8 million or go directly to hell. Um, then there's Jim Baker. Oh, he'll probably get to live with Tammy for a while. Um, <laughs> I, th I thought of the fundamentalist version of heaven, and I, and I can imagine millions upon millions of people all parked on these cloud banks, right? Uh, all of them sawing away on their harps and singing hymns. And in life, most people can't play an instrument or sing, as many folk singers and Al Curry have just recently demonstrated. <laughs> um, can you imagine the racket heaven's going to be? Um, before I go on and do what I was going to do here, this little shtick, um, let me point out that the, uh, the following was written by Frank Johnson, who's right over there. Um, so you know who to throw the things at afterwards, okay? Let me set the stage, okay? Here he is. He's a white-haired, portly man wearing a scarlet and gray windbreaker. He's got a grumpy look on his face, mostly because the guy at the Heaven's Gate is kind of shaking his head and going, look, he says to the people around him. Don't you know who I am? Nah, the answer. Who the hell are you? So he grabs the nearest harp. That's it. <laughs> 